So now we're gonna make some whole wheat muffins. When it comes to these whole wheat muffins, there's a lot of different ingredients. We have our dry ingredients, we have our wet ingredients, and we're gonna use two different mixing bowls because our recipe wants it split before we put them together. We're gonna start with our dry ingredients and we're gonna have our larger mixing bowl. And we're gonna start with our whole wheat flour. And with the whole wheat flour, remember, when it comes to our flour, we don't wanna pack. So we're not gonna take it, we're not gonna scoop it. We have our spoon, we have our straight edge spatula, be leveling it off and it calls for one and a half cups so we'll start with the one cup so slowly you're going to be pouring it in with the spoon without pressing don't press and we're going to overfill it a little bit Good job keep on going go ahead keep over pouring we need to over pour and we'll clean up Part of the baking process, there we go. You use that straight edge. And you're gonna level it off. Mama's gonna pour it in. Now we need half a cup. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're slowly pouring in the half cup. You don't wanna pack, we don't want our muffins to be too dry. That's a lot. Pour some of it out. Small amount. There we go. We're leveling it. And mom's going to pour it in. Now we're done with our whole wheat flour. So we're going to put that off to the side. We'll clean it up after. Don't worry. Now we're going to get our brown sugar. Remembering with our brown sugar, we do want to pack it. So we will actually be packing it. Here's our spoon. I'm going to help breaking it up. It's a nice fresh pack. So we're going to have it in. Pouring it a little bit. Okay, go ahead. First, press it down with the spoon. Yep. Press. Press. I'm going to add a little bit more. So we're slowly adding it in. There we go, press it down. Real hard, really hard. And as Lil here is pressing it down, I'm crumpling it up because now we're getting close to the very top. And we want to slowly be adding a little more in. you're pressing it down. We want all the brown sugar for this one cup of brown sugar. There we go. It's okay, little. All right, press that. We'll see where we're at with this. Press, press, press. Push, push, push. Remember, your hands are also, we've cleaned them. So they are tool. So you can use your hands to press it in, pack it in, we're packing it. There we go. So we have our brown sugar. Good job, Lil. We're gonna put that off to the side. And then we have our salt, which our salt is going to be one teaspoon. One teaspoon. Ready, I'll pour it, you hold the teaspoon. go one teaspoon of salt now for the baking powder what's nifty about this is that you're able to scoop it don't use your hands and there's an edge here so you'll scoop and then get it and scrape it against that edge you have a little too much to lift. there you go and now Bring this here, and now we have our baking soda, our last dry ingredient, which is half a teaspoon. So I'm gonna scoop it. Can you scrape it? Good job. 
And that is our dry ingredients when it comes to our next pot, because that's just like, can you mix it up mm -hmm. slowly, carefully? And as she's mixing it, I'm gonna get together my second bowl, because now we're gonna move on to our wet ingredients. For our wet ingredients, we just have three. We have our vanilla extract, we have our buttermilk, and we have some vegetable oil. I'm gonna start with the vanilla extract. And we just need one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And be careful when you open it. And I am measuring that out slowly up to the top. I'm gonna pour it into my measuring bowl here. Close it so that if it falls over, we're not gonna make a mess. Remember, when it comes to our wet ingredients and we're using our measuring cup, our liquid measuring cup, our buttermilk calls for one and a half. So I'm going to use our customary side, measure up from one and a half. Remember, you want to get down onto eye level and you're slowly pouring it in. I'm going up to one and a half. I'm at one cup now, getting close to the one and a half. There we go. Good job, little. You want to pour the buttermilk in? Yes, I can. Into with the vanilla extract. And there's our buttermilk. <laughs> Lilith is saying the vanilla smells good. And then our vegetable oil, we just need two-thirds of a cup. So we have two-thirds of a cup, getting down at eye level once again. Slowly going to there. Closing that up, pouring it right in. And because it's a liquid to help mix it, I'm gonna actually use a fork. Thank you. You go. And I'm going to mix it all together, if you notice. And you gotta get a lot, and you gotta get everything together. Yep. So how, we're, how I'm doing it. We're whisking it. We have our dry together. I'm trying to get the big pieces though. And in order to combine them, you're going to put your liquid into your dry slowly. So I'm going to start adding it. Okay, I'm ready for a little bit. All right, stir slowly. Put some more. Just keep stirring. Getting all of it mixed together. And it should be getting really hard to mix. Alright, let me in. Okay. So you're mixing it together. You're now making that batter. Make sure you scrape the sides. Can you go get the cupcake pan? Yes. We already lined the cupcake pan with our liners. So we'll put that right there. And it should be looking like this. A dozen. Good job. A because dozen is 12. Like eggs, too. <laughs> yep. We're just going to make 12 of our muffins. You could always add different flavors in. This is just like an easy base of a muffin recipe where you could put chocolate chips in it. You could put blueberries in it. You want to add a little cinnamon, add some cinnamon to it as well. But here is our batter. And it's all mixed together. The key, because they're going to bake, they're going to rise up. So you don't want to fill it all the way to the top. You want to go at least halfway. And then you can go a little bit more, just a tiny bit more than halfway. So I'm going to take my spoon and you want to try to avoid getting it on the cupcake pan itself so that it doesn't melt onto it and burn. 
takes a little bit and might be a little tricky at times. Mm -hmm. This could be a great little recipe for a quick breakfast because you can make it ahead of time and then you're able to just grab them because you can have them the next day. They don't have to be eaten that first day. Let's see, I'm slowly going about it. And if you, if you see Bobbles just um, banging it on the table. On the counter? Yes. That's really for the cake, but you could do that for this one, Lola. So we're going all the way up to about halfway. Bring it slowly. I'm being careful. It's not a race. Remember, it's never a race when you're cooking, whether it's baking or cooking dinner, cooking some breakfast, lunch. You want to take your time so we don't make any mistakes, you don't hurt yourself or harm anybody else. Over. You could always, if you don't want to make all 12 cupcakes, muffins that is, you could make less. You just got to change the amount of each ingredient. To maybe you want it to make six so you make half of them and then the extra spots the open spots you want to put halfway with water so that your muffins bake evenly just hold it for right now or you want to make more so you could double it and just double the amount and make a couple batches of muffins depending on how many you would like to make. You could always make some that have chocolate chips in it, some that have the blueberries, some regular ones, so you're making three dozen of them. But it's really, really easy and simple. The key though, because we are doing a baking process with this, even though you might not think of it as a dessert, is that you want to be measuring accurately so that the chemical reaction that happens with the baking soda, baking powder, occurs correctly. I'm just about looking at this, and with the extra, I'll add it to a little bit and have a smaller batch that's getting cooked. Since I got some batter on the pan, I'm just gonna take a paper towel and I'm gonna wipe it clean so that it doesn't get burnt. Or stick to it if it's near here or the pan and then you gotta really get it. Yeah, when you're cleaning, right? We yeah. don't wanna use too much muscle when we're cleaning. So now we have that. I'm gonna carefully carry it over to our oven, which is 400 degrees. Thank you. I'm going to close it. I'm going to set my timer. For 20 minutes. And we're going to wait for that to go. As it's cooking, I'm going to be cleaning up my mess. So there's our timer. I'm going to turn the timer off. But before totally knowing if it's done or not, we're going to check them. So, pulling them out. I have going to put them right here. So there's how they look right now. You see how they rose up. And I have a toothpick. Because the trick is, when you put the toothpick down in the middle, if it comes up clean, kind of like cupcakes, then they are going to be done. Now I'm going to check a couple of them just to make sure. Especially the little bit bigger ones. Yep. So they are done. I'm going to turn my oven off. And before taking them out, I'm going to let them cool for about five minutes. Take them out and then you can enjoy.